And I tell you that because this life, this life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. And oftentimes, we're like feeling weighed down by all of our sin, by all of our baggage, by things that have haunted us from our past. And God said, you know what? I sent my son for that. I sent my son because as he died on that cross, all of that sin and all of that baggage should be laid down. Because I came to give you life. And we think, no, nah, God, I'm doubting. I don't believe you. I don't believe that what you say is true because I can't see you. I've never really believed in you, so why now? So we have doubt. And the more that we're weighed down, the more that we are just bogged down with our life, the harder it is to run the more difficult that it is. So he says, no, I want you to, to take it off. I want you to take off all this baggage because I died for you. That's the whole purpose. But we're like, you know what, God? Ah, I'm just scared. I'm afraid. Because even though the more that we put off, the lighter that we feel, just like in sport, the more fit that you get, the lighter that you are, you're able to go faster, you're able to go further, you're able to go longer. And that's the same thing in our faith, that the more that we put off, the more free we get to live. The more free we get to live, but when we live under fear, we're afraid that God's not going to come through to us. He says, no, in 2 Timothy, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but I gave you a spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. So if we live in anything other than that, if we're not living with power, with love, with a sound mind, he says, no, I want you to take that off. Because you know why? You see that cross up there? I died for you on that. I died for you. So, so get rid of it. Cast it down. Cast it aside. And the faster that you can throw things off, the more that you can let go and you can lay at the foot of the cross, the more free life that you get to live. But you're like, man, God, I don't know. I'm starting to worry a little bit. I don't really know that all this stuff is real. I don't know that you're really going to pull through for me. You know, I really need a job. My, my parents really need a job. I don't know if I'm going to get in this college that I really want to get into. He says, why are you worrying? He says, I feed the birds of the air. He says, I, I plant and I, and I water the plants of, this, of, the, of the ground and of the grass. So why are you worrying? He says, in Philippians, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. He says, do not be anxious about anything. Do not worry about anything. And the more that you put off and the more that you're able to lay down, the freer you get to run, the freer you get to live. Because here's the point. You can do everything that you want, but if you're not living for Christ and if you're constantly bogged down, you're constantly bogged down by the weight of this world, by the sins that you have been haunted by in your past, that is exactly what Satan wants you to think about. That is exactly what Satan wants you to do. Because Christ says, no, I came to give you life and to give you abundant life, to give you free life. 